She was our third. Um, I had two older boys. I was just thrilled I had a girl after two boys. Um, the diagnosis came with Down syndrome. It was a shock to start with. You know, your emotions are up and down. Um, even being a nurse, you know, you know, you still are scared, I'm not sure what's going to happen, worry about the future for her. Um, and then um, she got, you know, very ill. She had this RSV virus and actually almost died from it, but um, recovered. And we had heart surgery and um, got better. Um, she's had a lot of ear surgeries throughout the years. She's lost uh, 80 percent of her hearing in her left ear and 50 in the right ear, so she wears hearing aids. Um, you know, when someone was sick, she would get it. You know, a lot of respiratory infections to start with, but she's much better now. She went to Chatham Elementary over to the intermediate school for fourth and fifth grade and then she was at the middle school for sixth seventh and eighth and then at glenwood for ninth through twelfth grade she had an awesome class she was prom queen um they did that all on their own so she was just thrilled beyond belief. every time we drive past the crown plaza she still says that's where i was prom queen <laughs> so hannah loves everybody everybody's her friend <laughs> My goal always was just to try and work with her, do as much as I could with her to get her as far as I can get her. You know, it's scary because you don't know what's going to happen with the future. And I had to sit down with her and that's when that future really hit me hard. And I said, going to college, you know, right now the colleges don't have helpers for you. But maybe if that changes, then you can go to college. You know, but our goal is to you know, have you get a job? And I said, would you like to work and have a job? And she said, oh, yes. Okay, I crossed this out. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna do last out lobby. As shown. As shown. Why don't you get a new one? Let me get a new one. Yeah. Perfect, good work, Hannah. The mission of the vocational program is to identify jobs for the children that are part of the Hope Institute and not only identify a spot but really match the child to their skills and abilities and something that they're going to enjoy. And then we work with that employer to, to match the employer to the child. And so when we make that connection and we work with that employer and child and we send a job coach along to to help that child learn the job duties every day. And then that job coach then works with, and along with our director of vocational services, with the employer to identify what can we do within the, that agency, within that job site, to, to kind of fade ourselves away. What can we put in place so that that child is successful and it's a natural support that that job coach doesn't have to provide anymore. Hannah is part of everything. Um, she does tasks from like laundry to cleaning to calling patients back. Uh, she helps set up our rooms. She helps with disinfecting. Um, she's really a vital role. She makes sure that this office runs very smoothly throughout the day. The days that Hannah's not here, we all know because we, there's stuff going around. We're like, where's our Hannah? We need her. There's lots of kids with developmental differences among us we're going to be a part of our community and it's important for all of us from business owners to team members and co-workers and just general uh, uh, neighbors in the community. All of us are going to have to do a little bit of a part in helping support uh, these individuals. And it's not just a matter of making life better for them. I feel like there's, if not equal, there's more of a return for us. Uh, we really think about what we do on a daily basis in a much more fulfilling way when we have Hannah as part of our team. Everyone should hire a vocational center from Hope because it brings so much life and positivity and so, so much genuine. Hannah is so genuine that I wouldn't know what to do. All right, come here. Hannah is the uh, perfect story of what Hope is trying to create. Now she has a you know 401k and you know works 
three days a week, and, and that's what we want. Every day when I pick her up, I'll say, how was your day? She said, oh, busy, fantastic, awesome, amazing, fabulous. <laughs> This is my whole life. This is my, my, my buddy, Natalie. She's helping me. You're very sweet. Yeah, we love you. Our best employee.